Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TR HD. Today I have an awesome new drone to show you guys. It's called the wristwatch drone. Now why is it called like that? It's because the remote controller looks exactly like a wristwatch and it also shows the time. So I'm super excited to show this new drone to you guys. You can see a picture of the wristwatch controller and the nano drone over here. This drone is made by this company called Daheng and the model number is DH800. It says 14 plus so even kids can fly it. This drone is a Wi-Fi FPV drone. So you can see the real time video transmission from the drone on your smartphone. That is so cool, right? Now before unboxing it, I want to thank Gearbest for sending me this product for review purpose. Let me grab my knife and cut this tape. Here we go. So here is the wristwatch drone, guys. It looks awesome. The design is very unique. Let me just take it out of the box and see what else do we get in it. You get a mobile phone holder. It can be extended easily, so you can fix phones of almost any size. There's also a USB charging cable to charge the drone. There's a packet in it which includes extra propellers. Let me just take them out. Oh no, there's a broken propeller in it. Ah oh man, so I only have 3 extra props for this drone. It must have got damaged while shipping. So along with that you also have a screwdriver in it to open the battery compartment. And a user manual. Make sure to read it as it's got lots of info on the drone. It also has a QR code for the compatible app to be downloaded on your phone. Okay, let's keep them aside and check out the wristwatch drone. So here's the remote controller guys. Let's take it out. This remote controller weighs about 260 grams. It doesn't feel that heavy. The build quality is really nice. It's made of high quality plastic and has the color of gunmetal. So you can put it on your wrist and carry it anywhere. Hence the name wristwatch drone. It says Daheng drone technology. The quality of the bands is also really nice. Let me show you the back side. You've got the battery compartment over here. You need to install two AAA batteries in it. There's only one analog stick on it, which is used to control the directions in which the drone flies. You've got lots of buttons around it. I'll show them to you later in the video. This is where you need to fix a mobile phone holder. You've got a tiny antenna over here. So you've seen the controller, but you might be thinking where the drone is, right? Well, the drone is inside this case. Let me just open it and show you guys how the drone looks like. Here it is guys, the DH800 Nano Drone. It is so small. The build quality looks amazing. The gunmetal color gives it a really good look. The arms of the drones are folded. Let me just unfold them. This is probably the smallest foldable FPV drone I've seen till now. Really nice. It feels light in the hand. Let me place it in my palm and show you how small it is. Now this drone also has a camera on it. It can shoot both photos and videos. The quality of the propellers also look good. You've got the charging port over here. And the power on or slide switch below that. The antenna is over here. It's got a 250mAh lithium ion battery and is non-removable. It also has landing pads, that is nice. Let me just switch it on. Oh, you see that? It's got dazzling red and blue LEDs. Looks nice. We'll just switch it off and keep it aside for now. Let's check out the remote controller. This is the power button. These are the forward and backward trim, left and right trim, the shutter button, video recording button, monkey takeoff and land. This is throttle. Now this wheel controls the yaw of the drone. This is one key return function, headless mode, emergency stop, 3D flips and rolls, and finally speed adjust button. So that was about the remote controller. Now I'll show you guys the app that you need to install on your phone to control the drone. As you can see, the mobile holder is quite good, it can hold the phone firmly. You've got an adjustment screw here to adjust the length of the holder. You can easily fix phones of almost any size. Now let's pair the transmitter and the drone. Let me switch on the remote controller first and then the drone. Wait for a few seconds until the lights stop blinking. Switch on the Wi-Fi on your phone. Here you can see VSL cam right? You need to pair with that Wi-Fi network. There you go. Now you need to open this app called VSUFO. You can download it from Play Store or scan the QR code from the manual. Hit the play button. There you go guys, you can already see the live video transmission from the drone. Awesome right? The app has a lot of buttons. 
I'll just tell you all of them briefly. This is the back button, photo button, video recording button, the gallery, speed control, altitude hold, gravity control, camera reverse, 3D mode, and finally flips and rolls. Now it's finally time to test this drone. Let's just go out and see how this drone flies. Okay guys, now we're gonna test this DH800 Nano drone. You can also see the live video transmission on the phone. Let me place it over here. We're gonna fly this using one key takeoff button. So let's do this. Okay, there's a lot of wind coming. So the drone is getting pushed back a little. Let me increase the altitude. Nice. Let's try some flips and rolls. The drone is doing a good job. But it's a bit difficult to fly here in outdoors since there is a lot of wind. This drone also has altitude hold so you can fly it easily. Right now I'm shooting some photos and videos. I'll show them to you at the end of this video. The company says it has an RC distance of 50 meters. I've flied it up to 30 to 40 meters. I've had no problem. The altitude hold is really nice on this drone. As you can see it is very stable when there is no wind. Till now it was in low speed mode. Let's change it to high speed mode and see how it performs. The drone is quite fast. So that was the outdoor flight test. Let's see how this nano drone flies indoors. You see that guys? It is very stable. You can easily fly this drone indoors. But it has no propeller guards. So be careful while flying it. This nano drone also has headless mode and it works pretty good. The only problem I faced while flying it was controlling the yaw on the remote was difficult. Because instead of a joystick, you have a wheel at the left side and you need a little bit of practice to handle it easily. I had a lot of fun flying it. It is fast, stable and you'll definitely enjoy it. On an average, this drone was giving a flight time of around 5 to 6 minutes and the charging time took around 30 to 40 minutes. Here are a few sample photos taken by the drone. Just have a look at them. The photos have a resolution of 640 by 480. The image quality was average and there's a lot of compression in it. This is the video sample shot by this nano drone in indoor conditions. The video quality was average but still usable. It has a 0.3 megapixel camera. The video resolution was also 640x480. It has a 4 to 3 aspect ratio and the bitrate was around 1 to 2 Mbps. So that was my review on the DH800 watch drone. 
It's an awesome drone with a lot of features. It is very stable and you can fly it easily with a little practice. Plus it also has a camera on it. This drone is priced for about 2500 rupees and is available on Gearbest. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. So that was it for today guys. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.